Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are trying out six different types of sake and pairing them with a variety of food to show you guys how versatile sake can be. It was around a year ago where we were introduced to this company called Tipsy and they sent us a box of sake. Ever since then I've been a huge fan of sake. You know it, right? I used to be a wine drinker and now I'm a sake drinker which is why we're very, very happy to be partnering with Tipsy today. Tipsy is a sake club membership program that sends you a specially curated sake box every three months. Each box comes with six bottles of sake, along with sake tasting cards for you to learn and deepen your sake experience. And of course, you have the Tipsy Sake Guide for Beginners. And this really, really helped a beginner like myself uh, this tells you, you know, what sake is, the brewing process, the different categories, how to taste, how to serve, and how to store sake. Super, super useful booklet. I like this booklet. I am Japanese, but I did not know about sake well, mm -hmm. and I learned from this book. Yeah, and it's very, very easy to understand. Mm -hmm. And today, we're going to be trying to pair these sake with a variety of food. When most people think of sake, they think Japanese food, you know, sushi, sashimi, of course we have those things, but we also got some other things like pizza, we have steak, we have cheesecake, we have fresh fruits, we even have Lay's potato chips. Uh, if you guys cannot wait any longer and you want to get started with Tipsy, just click on the link in the description below this video. Use the code SHINICHI that will give you 10% off any products in Tipsy or use the code SHINICHI30. This will give you $30 off your first sake box. The first sake we're going to try out is this one right here. This is called Kino Ene Junmai Ginjo. This comes from a brewery called Inuma Honke located in Chiba Prefecture. So I don't know everything about sake yet, but I had no idea that Chiba made sake. Yeah, Chiba is a good brewery. Really? Sake I, I have no idea. Chiba is right next door to Tokyo. Yep. Yep. And this one is a Junmai Ginjo. It's light and dry. Junmai sake is made with rice and koji. Only rice and koji. Of course, we Water. Deva, kanpai, itadakimasu. Mm. Mm. That's nice. That's very nice. Oh, it's light and dry, not too sweet. Not too sweet. Mm -hmm. I like this kind of sake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm. Me too. I think this is like a perfect summertime sake. So on the note, it says this pairs well with seafood or it's also good as an aperitif. Okay, so we have some sashimi that we bought from our local supermarket. So usually, sake goes really well with sashimi. Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu! Oishii! <laughs> this sake makes the sashimi taste better, mm. and the sashimi enhances the sake. Like, it goes hand in hand, like perfect pair. Wow, you describe so nice. Did I? I? Yeah. I feel like I, I don't have enough vocabulary words to describe fully you what I'm experiencing. You are becoming a sake maista in this year. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm. Gosh, I, I think during this whole year, because of you guys, Tipsy, thank you, by the way, um, I, I think I have sake at least once or twice a week. So the next one is mm. Junmai Hatsushibori Yuki Honoka. From Takeno Tsuyu. This one is brewed in the mountains of Yamagata, your hometown. Yamagata, yay! Right, and this particular brewing company was established in 1858 and uh, they chose this area because of the clear water. You have to have really good water yes. to create good sake. Yes, the mm. flavor is different. Yeah, mm. it's a little fruity for me. Mm -hmm. And this mm. one is, what shall I say? A little bit milder than the mm. last one. I see, milder, mm. that's mm. true. Oh, oh, this is nice. Mm. I think this is very good with the seafood. Okay. Sushi. Sushi, okay, so let's try the sushi. Uh, I got maki sushi if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. I, I was thinking nigiri, mm -hmm. but we have sashimi already, so I thought, you know, why not get maki sushi? Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. Try it with the sake. This mild sake mm. um, is combined with these ingredients inside mm. of this 
寿司、yeah. like シイタケマッシュルーム、mm-hmm. or like the, the sweet egg omelet、yeah. I yeah. feel like it goes well with the sweetness、mm-hmm. of the ingredients、mm-hmm. I'm really really curious can we, can we just try like a, a little bit of sashimi, sashimi. with it? Okay. I'm very I'm curious Okay, so I'm gonna try the salmon sashimi I'd like to try it with kanpachi Mmm <laughs> You guys like sashimi? I hope so Oh, it's good, this one Wow, it goes、mm. really well with my salmon. Even、mm-hmm. more so than the sushi, I think. Yeah, this one matches with this sashimi、mm-hmm. very well. It、mm. really does.、Mm. Next one is Tateyama Tokubitsu Honchozo、okay. from the Tateyama Brewing Company,、uh, founded in 1830. And this is from Toyama Prefecture. So, this one is a Honjo Zoshu.、Mm-hmm. So,、uh, they add、uh, alcohol for adjust、oh. the flavor. Okay, interesting. And this says it goes well with both meat and seafood. Very meat interesting. Meat and seafood. Meat and seafood.、Oh. You know, I, I never thought that you know, sake would go well with meat, which is why I'm very curious to try it with like, the steak we have today. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. This is. Oh, mild, mild, and I feel it's rich. Rich flavor. You know, this kind of tastes like melon to me. Melon. A、mm. little bit. It has like a flavor of melon. So, what do you want to pair this with? We have、mm. pizza, we have steak, we have fish cake, cheese, hamburger. Meat. Meat. So, which one? I'm about to s t e a k Okay, hamburger. <laughs> Let's try with the hamburger. This is just a normal hamburger patty. Is this 100% beef? No, no. Combined、uh, beef and pork. Beef and pork, okay. And just season with salt, right? Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Mmm. Mmm.、Oh, delicious. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Hello. Oh. oh my god. I'm just sake tasting it.、Oh. I'm gonna drink this up. That is good. Hey, what's up? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Very good with this meat flavor. It actually enhanced the meat.、Mm. It made、mm. the meat taste better. Mariage. Wait a minute.、Oh. Wait a minute.、Mm. Uh, this is、uh, num- um, this one, right? Tateyama?、Mm. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna pour just a little bit more because now I'm curious. It says this, this goes well with meat as well as、um, seafood. Seafood.、Um, I wanna try it with、um, the fish cake that we have. We have a、okay. chikuwa、okay. in front of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It goes well with chikuwa too,、mm. but I feel like it, it was better with the, the, meat. The, the meat. Yes. If this goes well with that, do you think this would go well with like menchikatsu or. I think so. バーベキュー。Please read. Oh, okay. It、book. says,、um, <laughs> no, okay, actually, it just says here on the card they've incorporated the orthodox Kimoto brewing method to produce a nuanced, softer texture. There is an information in this book of Kimoto. Oh, see how handy this is? It says Kimoto is、uh, made with the traditional brewing method using ore like paddles, and it gives the sake complexity and a pleasant acidity. Wow, okay, okay. Kimoto brewing method. That's something new to me. And pairing idea says cheese, meat, and seafood. What? Cheese? Wow,、oh. this one's different again.、Mm. A little bit of sweeter. Sweeter? It's written, it's light and dry, but、mm. for me, it's a little bit sweet. I really love sake、um, because they're, they're different.、Mm. And then sometimes you know, there's like subtle differences. And you know, I, I try really hard to try to taste the subtle differences in the rice they use, the water. It's very interesting to me.、Mm. So we have some cheddar cheese in front cheddar of、cheese. us. Yes, let's I, eat with cheddar cheese. Yes, I chose cheddar because、mm. um, 
I thought, you know, um, in the US, people like ch cheddar cheese. Okay. I think this sake matches with cheese because it has a depth. Mm. This one has a depth. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cheddar cheese. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It goes together. Mm. I'm shocked. This, I said, this mm. sake mm. has a little bit of sweetness mm. and cheese mm. has a saltiness mm. and it's combined very nicely. I'm genuinely surprised, guys, because this entire year of sake drinking, I think I, I paired one sake with the cheese. It mm. didn't go well together. So since then, I never paired sake with cheese. So this just shows you certain sake goes well with certain type of food. It's very interesting. So having tried that, how about we try pizza? Okay, pizza. Because that and has cheese, cheese yeah. right? Cheese and meat as well. Because it says this goes well with meat and cheese. Okay. Surprise, surprise, surprise. No, I didn't think sake and pizza as a friend. No, we but always no. get beer when we, mm -hmm. we order pizza. Mm -hmm. But now, this sake is a very good friend with this pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It makes the mediocre pizza taste better. Next one is Toyo Bijin O Karakuchi. Toyo Bijin means Asian beauty. This brewery rests in the hills near a small village. In Yamaguchi, Karakuchi means dry, 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 or oh, means very, very dry, very dry. So this one is supposed to pair well with meat, seafood, and fruits. Ooh. Meat, seafood, and fruits. We do have some fruits today. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Ah. Mm. Later, mm. I feel it's very dry. Mm -hmm. Later, first. It's not so dry, but later, I feel dry. Really? It's interesting flavor. <laughs> For me, it was immediately dry. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's the first time I had a sake this dry. Let's immediately go for the, the meat. I'm so curious. Mmm. 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 Mm. Um, um, it's the same with wine, I guess. But when you pair the sake with different kind of food, it changes the, the taste of the sake for me. Like this one, it was it dramatically changed. So now, um, I'd like to try it with um, a piece of fruit. Fruit! <laughs> we have uh, watermelon, grapes, kiwi, apple, and pineapple. I'm gonna try the grape. Grape. Okay. I'm gonna grape. try apple. Okay. Mm hmm. Mmm! Mmm, it goes, mm, it goes really well with the grape. I need to expand my vocabulary, I swear. It really? pairs perfectly with the grape. Okay. It was very juicy. Sweet, uh, sweet uh, fruit is better. Try the grape. Apple is not so good. Really? I'll try it. Could you give me sake more? Sure, of course. Okay, there you go. Okay. My tasting portion is bigger than you. <laughs> okay. Alright. Good. Okay, you're gonna try the grape. I would try some watermelon. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Good old almond. Mmm. How is that watermelon? The watermelon's okay. I think really? the grape was the best. I think the grape paired. Maybe sweet, best. sweet fruit matches with sake. I think so. So the last one is named Niwano Ugui's 50 Junmai Daiginjo. Oh, Junmai Daiginjo. Right, this is from the Yamaguchi Brewing Factory from Fukuoka Prefecture. Okay. Mm -hmm. They only use the core of rice. Mm -hmm. It has a very clear aromatic flavor. Mm -hmm. So Daiginjo means Polish, more than 50%. And that's this one. That's this one. Okay. okay. Oh, I love this one. Junmai Daiginjo flavor. Mm. 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 What is it? For me, uh, when the, um, you know, the, the rice is polished to at least 50%, which makes it uh, 
Junmai Ginjo. Oh no, Junmai Dai Ginjo. Dai Ginjo. I feel like I, I taste the, 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 the most intense part of the rice. Mm. That's what I feel. Mm. We have some unorthodox things. So I like to try this with um, some uh, potato chips. Sour, Sour cream, cream onion, onion potato chips. I know, you're thinking, really? But you know, let's just try it. Because I just had some lying around and it was on sale. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Hey, it's not bad. Mm. Not bad. Wait. Mm. It... Yep. Sour cream and onion chips is a good friend with sake, I think. Mm. Mm. It, because of the cream, maybe the mm. creaminess. I think sour so. Cream. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. It's almost like cheese, I guess. And then I want to try it with a little bit of biscuit, with a little bit of um, um, syrup, maple wow. syrup. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this is because the last time we did the pairing, uh, we discovered that um, some sake went really well with maple syrup and French toast. Remember? <laughs> I was thinking like Sunday brunch. Mm -hmm. Usually you drink champagne, why not sake? And it paired really well. So, biscuit with some maple syrup. Oh, maple syrup. Mm. Sweeter sake is better. I agree. Mm? I agree. So, maple syrup, sweeter sake. Later, let's try with kimoto. Kimoto, okay, kimoto. okay. Mm -hmm. so, so, this time, mm. let's try with sashimi. 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 Okay, I'm sure it sounds going to go well. You know what, how about you go for sashimi, I'll, I'll, I'll go for the sushi. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 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 Perfect with my makuzushi. In fact, this is better than the, the other one. The first one. It's very good with sashimi. This Jumai Daiginjo also is good with fruits. Okay. Fruits <laughs> again. Yes, again, okay. back to the fruits. So this time, I want to try pineapple. Okay, I'm going to try kiwi. This is what we literally do at home when we drink sake. The only thing is that we usually, you know, buy big bottles of sake. And I think this is... I, I love trying like six different types of sake at once. It's so much fun. Mmm. Mm. Sweet kiwi. Mm. Mmm. Oh, it kind of goes goes well with the kiwi too. It's a bunch with the pineapple. Too. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> so that's something that yeah. we, we didn't know. We, we never tried pairing fruits yeah, with sake. I never tried sake. with sake. Mm. Um, fruits. And remember, we do have cheesecake for dessert, mm -hmm. which we have to pair with something that we have today. Kimoto with maple syrup. Okay. Mm. 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 Yes. There we go. Yes. That's the pairing. Mm. So we have four types of cheesecake. We have a regular cheese tart with some like Oreo cheesecake, berry cheesecake, and another type of cheesecake. Oh. I think they are all pretty much the same, really. Mmm. Mm. Very smooth. Mmm. Oh. Oh. I mm. like that. Mm. That is something we discovered last year. That sake goes really well with cheesecake. I don't know if it's all sake, but this one, kimoto, is perfect with the cheesecake. Mm. I'm so sorry, I have to take another bite. Let's try the berry cheesecake. Do you have sake? Yes, I do have sake. Mmm. 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 Now I refuse to eat cheesecake without sake. <laughs> well, at least at home. At least at home. Gosh, this is so much fun. I'm feeling so good right now with all the sake coursing through my veins. Of course, I have the Asian flush. <laughs> so I have one, one good thing to okay. enjoy sake. One tip. Okay, enjoy what's that? Sake. If you don't have any meal mm. at home, but you can enjoy sake with salt. Good salt. Okay, so we're gonna try the last one, Niwa no Uguisu 50, mm -hmm. with the finishing salt. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Mm. Such a good salt. Yes. Mm. 
Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. But this salt is really good. <laughs> yeah. But it matches and mm. in in mouth in the mouth the saltiness turned into sweetness. sweetness. That's right. That's right. Already this salt is you know a good quality salt. It's a finishing salt, so it's, it has like a natural sweetness mm -hmm. to it. But with the sake, once again, totally different experience. So guys, if you want to experience this joy and happiness that we're experiencing right now uh, with sake, make sure to take advantage of the discount. Uh, use the code Shinichi for ten dollars. Uh, sorry, ten percent of your purchase from the Tipsy store or thirty dollars off your first purchase of Tipsy. Uh, use the code Shinichi. 30. Thank you Tipsy for this wonderful experience and for allowing us to experience the wonderful world of sake. Thank you guys for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, let us know your thoughts and comments down below and we'll see you guys again next time. Bye guys!